Hello, hello, my name is Sofia and this is an audio version of my blog entry entitled Geolocating Chechen Soldiers in Mariupol, Ukraine. Introduction. With the arrival of Kadyrov's men in Ukraine, I was bound to spot some footage of them to geolocate anytime soon. Today was the day and Mariupol was the place. Ramzan Kadyrov, the leader of Chechnya, who last week, March 14, 2022, claimed he was in Ukraine with his troops, has apparently sent his men down south all the way to Mariupol, causing havoc and destruction wherever they went. Early today, I found a video on Twitter where you can see Kadyrovsky unit all heavily armed, shooting at something just out of our field of view and taking cover behind a truck. This 58 second video with barely anything remarkable on it was enough for me to geolocate them within 5 minutes. The video. Here's the video showing members of the Chechen battalion fighting in Mariupol. It was posted yesterday, the 19th of March 2022, late at night. There is a link on the caption of the tweet pointing to a Telegram post that was posted a few hours earlier. It's still bright in the footage, so my guess is that it was recorded around sunset due to the sky coloration on the 19th of March. Feel free to click play in the embed link below in case Twitter goes down, here's the Telegram link. So I will actually play the Telegram link. It starts like that. You have the truck and you have a group of men. We have the arms, they're heavily armed. This one has uh, an RPG. And then in terms of geolocating, you cannot see much. There is some trees there. Oh, that's all happening. <laughs> there is a building. That's a very interesting building. And you can see something in the horizon, perhaps. And that's it. You have some roads. You can see it kind of goes to the left. Whoa, we shot that. It's also exciting. <laughs> There's some bin. Yeah, it goes that way. There's a building, which is exciting. We have another building to look at. You can see how there is some remains of more RPGs. There you go. Another one, another one. Just, just throwing all over the place, apparently. And this man looks at us. Thank you for you. They're going to identify you eventually. And another one. And then they go this way. And there's another group of men. Some buildings, but there is not much. That's it. That's that's all we get. <laughs> so, video analysis. As you may have noticed, there is not much to go by in this footage. However, sometimes that's not a problem at all. In fact, there's enough information on a single frame at 6 seconds to be able to geolocate this scenario in just a few minutes. And this is what we'll be using. This is it. This is all you need to use. What can we see in the image that can help us identify the location? First thing is the obvious building. That one. Doesn't look like a house. It has some white stairs on the side. You can see it there. It's fairly small and has a lot of open space. Maybe a place to rent for events, perhaps a cafe, a restaurant. We can also see trees, plenty of them, and an open area leading to them. So there's no trees in this section here, right? These two features will be easily visible in satellite view. There's also a cable above, probably leading to an electrical pole. On top of all of this, I bet that I can spot a sea in the distance, and judging by the fact that Mariupol is a coastal city, this will be a very good guess. I'm pretty sure that's the sea. And do you remember how I said it was probably recorded at sunset due to coloration of sky? We can see how the right side of the image is slightly more orangey than the left side of the image. This would indicate that the sun is setting on our right. Knowing that the sun rises on the east and sets on the west, we now know that we are most likely facing south. So geolocating. Now we can just go to Google Maps and check out what Maripol looks like, as we already know that based on the caption of the tweet, this happened in that area. Maripol is quite a big city, but we have enough to narrow down our search by a lot. We can go directly to the coast. There you go. This is the coast around there. And we might even start on the right side of the screen as it is the coastal area that faces the south the most. So if you're looking this way, you will be facing southeast, but this section is more south. Within seconds, you'd spot this area. And I'm going to bring them up and I'll show you what I mean. So we have Mariupol, right? And I'm like zooming in, zooming in and thinking, let me look at the coast. You can see this area is not, there's no trees there, just grass. There's some trees, different pattern, different shape, 
and suddenly here we can see there's a coastal area there's some trees there's some paths and there's some and there's some building here some building some building some building so all of these buildings could be interesting could be the one we're looking for and this is the area that I just showed you so what do we see here we see some structure by the beach with a symbol that indicates a cafe we have plenty of trees we have an area without trees there you go this section there open just before the road and of course the black sea there you go it looks promising but how do we verify the location can I just say yeah that's the one so verifying as many other locations in Ukraine this one has no Google Street View and only a couple of panoramic images in the distance both of little help but if there is one thing we can always count on is business photos so we just click on that yellow symbol above the black Corsair building and see what we can get once you click on it you'll be shown a bit more information about the business the photo below is not very useful for us but if you click on it you'll be able to see the full gallery some of the photos would have been posted by the business and some by the patrons so I can show you what I mean go there and we'll just click on the business and suddenly you have the page Google business page which this one has 219 photos in it which is a lot of photos for a small business so once you are in the gallery mode you can keep scrolling down to see more photos and this was number six on our list let me show you again click that one scroll 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 six that is the one we're looking for above we can see the white stairs look at those the open area to top the trees of the same species and height as the one seen above and because I'm never happy with just one point of confirmation I went back to the map to see if there was anything else I could use there was not much around apart from that public toilet but if it's clickable I am clicking on it <laughs> so let's go again and zoom a bit look at that there is a public toilet and for some reason there's photos of it why why are there photos of a public toilet in Mariupol but fine I'm clicking on it somehow this public toilet by the sea has three photos on its gallery as seen below interesting enough when this video was recorded only two hmm. such mystery okay so what can we see just behind it oh my god look at that look at that that is the cafe da, da, da. <laughs> so below on the left you can see the screenshot from the battle in Mariupol remember that one six second in and on the right you have a photo of the area uploaded to Google Maps public toilet <laughs> you can see the cable at the top look at that you can see this tree it's been the same shape look the canopy brilliant absolutely brilliant and look this is the same building and all of this from a photo of a public toilet that someone uploaded in June 2021 thank you so much coordinates of where the Chechen men were seen in active combat in Mariupol Ukraine on the 19th of March this is it this is exactly where they were conclusion sometimes geolocating an image or video is much easier than it looks at first from footage to geolocation took me around five minutes using Google Maps one frame of the video and a lot of analysis and if I'm honest the first time I watched the video I had some doubts I would be able to do it at least in a reasonable amount of time but sometimes it's the ones that look the easiest that end up being the hardest ones it's always worth giving it a go I hope you enjoy the walkthrough of my geolocation of the members of the Chechen Sever Battalion in Mariupol thank you for listening Sophia